Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm just clarifying some things. The video I put out the other day about what if it's not Thomas Bruce. I think a lot of people think that I thought it was Daniel Nations. I don't know if you didn't listen to it thoroughly or if I just didn't make myself clear. So let me be very, very clear. It is not Daniel Nations, okay? Nor do I believe that it is. I believe that if we are looking back to the first part of the case and we are taking Thomas Bruce out of the conversation, let me be clear that I have a two-sided coin here. I lose nothing if it's not Thomas Bruce. Do you understand? I mean, we're all grown. Let's all act grown. I lose nothing. But this is a murder case. This is not a game. This is not about who's right and who's wrong. Okay? It's just my opinion. So, if it's not Thomas Bruce, I believe that the police have no clue as to who did the crime, okay? I believe that it's somebody comparable to Daniel Nations, okay? I believe that there are things about the crime scene or what led to the crime, uh, what they found, whatever, that would be comparable to his past, that's just my opinion, and I could very much be wrong. Again, I lose nothing either way. This is the death of two girls. Two very young girls. It was a senseless crime. There was no reason for it. Okay? This family has lost... Fam these two families have lost everything. If you haven't checked out Harvey Carroll's Persons of Interest, I know people are hungry in this case for information, but I think he did an excellent job. And it's about an hour long, and I think there's a previous video that kind of compares to it. Um, he's done a great job, really, with putting together who was around the area at the time. Whether it's actual information or not, he states, look, we don't have any proof of this. This is just what someone has said okay or whatever but if you're hungry for that kind of information go check out Harvey's video on persons of interest that um, was in and around the bridge on the day this happened also looking back into the beginning of the case if you want a fresh look at videos that were the closest to the date in which this happened. Go to Julie Melvin's face or YouTube channel. On March the 5th of 2017, you can see you know what it was like during that on that day almost. I mean, it was only 3 weeks after the crime that she took these videos. She was in my opinion the very first one that was out there taking video of the area. I'm not sure that I'm bringing enough information to the case or light to the case, but if you're hungry for that kind of information, go check out Harry, uh, Harvey, not Harry, Harvey Carroll's Persons of Interest. And then also Julie Melvin had uh, the best videos in the beginning to see the area the, where the tape, crime scene tape was, down the hill, the south side of the bridge. Go check hers out too. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks.